I'm gonna just wait, see where he spawns, and yeah, GG's, my guy. All right, so he's trying to do everything he can. Little does he know, there is no escape from this. Bop, bop, bop. Throw him over there and break your spleen. Okay, so today we've got another anime showdown video. Now, in my last anime showdown video, I went over Ukiora and he was a pretty freaking broken character. But now for this video, as you guys can probably already tell from the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be going over the boy Shinra. So yeah, there's no real reason as to why I'm going over Shinra. I kind of just have been seeing a lot of people play him and he looks really freaking good and just super fun to play. So that's what the video is going to be on. And so just like all my other videos, I'm going to do a quick little showcase showing y'all what, you know, Shinra can do. And then we'll get onto the ring matches. So with all that being said, let's get onto the showcase. All right, so now we're at the showcase. So first things first is the first move, which is Devil's Foot. Now, Devil's Foot is pretty much like the, I guess you could say, iconic move for this character, where you click one, you zoom to the person, and then kick them back. Now, that move doesn't go through block, and it doesn't break any armor. So the only way you can really hit it is just if you land it raw or if you use your three. Now, since I actually decided to say that, I'll just showcase that real quick. So your three is called Fire Axe, where you do, like, a drop kick, and then, like I said, if you use your one right after it you'll lock onto them and it's basically inescapable so that is how you are intended to like actually use it but if you also want you could like do this and then use your one and that's another way to land it the next move we've got is your two fire flip kick which is essentially just a grab slam them up slam them back down and that's pretty much your main combo extender and it doesn't go through any armors and it is blockable so you're mainly just going to be using it in a combo and yeah the next move we've got is a fire axe which is the move you're supposed to use in order to land your one but if you decide to you know just use it raw it does actually break block and as you guys saw when you use it on a dummy that's not blocking or just a player in general it will fling them and it does break super armor but it doesn't break hyper armor the next move we've got is flaming kick flurry which is probably my favorite move because you literally just break dance on the person and you do get super armor while actually using that move so you kind of just want to use it as a get off me move but you could also use it as just a combo ender and it does not break block or any of the armor so the only move that actually breaks block or just armor in general is in fact your three and then last but not least the last move we've got is your five that being corner now this might be the only move that actually works this way but essentially the way corner works is it takes away half of your actual mode bar and then all of your energy so when you click five, as you can see, you essentially zoom to the person, kick them. It drops like a giant flaming tiger. I, I've never watched Fire Force, so don't roast me. And then it does 60 damage. And there's basically nothing you can do about it because it goes through block and it goes through super armor. It doesn't go through hyper armor. So I guess if you have a hyper armor move, that's how you would, you know, want to avoid that. And if you use it against somebody who is super armoring, then it does like break it, but it only does half the damage since that's what super armor does. So yeah, it's just a homing move, kind of like what your one is. And it goes through block and it does 60 damage. So yeah. Yeah, you kind of just use that to kill the opponent and like i said if they don't have any way to like actually avoid it then it literally is just a free kill but remember it does take away half of your mode bar so either you can use two of those or you use awakening and now with that being said we can move on to the awakening now i have no idea what's happening there but it looks really freaking cool but as you can see you click one, a Dola burst, and you get probably one of the coolest cutscenes in the whole game. So, yeah, you kind of just freaking, like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Just beat them down, dog. <laughs> Launch them all over the place, and then it is, in fact, a one-shot. Now, something to note about that is the one-shot is determined on how much mode you have at the time. So what I mean by that is if you're above like 80% mode bar, then it will be a one shot. But if you're actually below that, it won't one shot anymore. Instead, it'll just do a little bit of damage. I mean, it's not really a little bit. It's still a lot. But like, here's an example. So I mean, yeah, as you guys can see, I used it while like below 40% and that barely even scratched the guy. So 
that's a perfect example of what I mean. You basically just want to use it as soon as you awaken and then you get a free one shot. So yeah, all in all, I think Shinra is really good. His combos are absolutely nasty. And then being able to just choose between which one you're going to need in that situation, whether it be Korna or just the one shot in your awakening is really dope. But I mean, I don't really know how strong it is until I actually, you know, play ranked with this. So with all that being said, let's get on to the rank matches. All right. So we got the first match. Now I have actually played some games with Shinra before this just to like you know learn what the character is like best at and what exactly he does and i'm gonna just say right now shinra is really freaking good the main thing that i think makes him so strong is as you guys can see this dude just lost like 60 percent of his actual health and it's because his bread and butter combo that being your two and tier three and tier one for some reason doesn't build up enough like evasive bar to actually sub out of it i don't know why it's like that but yeah using like your bread and butter they can't actually evasive it so you basically can always get 60 percent of somebody's health for pretty much just free like there's not much the person can really do about it. what did this dude just bro it was like the first freaking 50 seconds <laughs> all right next match i guess that last dude just wasn't having it but i mean as you guys saw bro that last match was kind of a perfect example of what I was talking about. And this is literally just another one. You literally like just lose 60% of your health from just getting M1. And I think that's kind of the thing that makes Shinra like really freaking strong. We can wall him right here with our four. So there's the wall. Yeah, I think that's kind of, oh, that's bad. All right, nice. We got out of there. I think that's kind of the thing that just makes Shinra really strong. The fact that you just landing one M1 is just 60% health, like that that definitely needs a nerf. And like I said, there's basically no way to evade that. Like their evasion bar just does not come up fast enough by the time you've used your three moves to actually let them sub out of it. So we're just gonna do it again because like I said, this is essentially your bread and butter and oh, he evasive mid kick. That was actually pretty smart. Now me personally, I like to use the four as a get off me move since it does have super armor and it basically hits from all around you. Luckily though, we've been getting this dude against a wall so we can use it as a um, wall combo extender instead. That was a good super armor by him, but yeah, he's kind of just dead again. Like. <laughs> Bro, this dude has not touched us. And we're actually super close to awakening. So I think in the scenario we're in now, I'm going to go for Korna instead of just one-shotting him. Because from my experience, you can some if you have like awakening really fast, then you can actually build up your awakening again after using one corner it's actually pretty nice if he comes into me yeah you see what i mean just to get off me and then from here i like to go for a down slam because sometimes it catches people off guard sadly it didn't work against that dude that's really bad yeah i didn't think he had his evasion right there but now we get to take a whole epo combo he messed up though he didn't get us he didn't wall us there we go three into the one that should knock him against the wall and we can combo him again All right, I'm going to land the four, and now he's low enough to where a corner will one-shot him. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to just charge up. Yeah, yeah you're, I mean, if you're going to let me charge, that works too. And now into the five, and yeah, see you in the afterlife, buddy. So now he's on last stock, and if I build up Awakening again, he basically just loses. Like, there's there's no counterplay. Okay, so he hit us with Gazelle Punch, which is freaking annoying. I, that's like the most annoying move on Epo, in my opinion. But we've been winning all these M1 trades, so if I'm going to predict that he evasives. No, he didn't. I want to show y'all something cool with um, Shinra. If somebody evasives and then you use your one, you'll actually still lock onto them. That's really bad. I'm going to go for my four here because it has super armor. Oh, okay, that's not good. <laughs> Bro, forgot how much range it has. I'm going to just go for a raw fire axe. Thank you. I want this dude to evasive so that I can use my one on him, but he's just not doing it. Yeah, I don't know why this dude isn't evasiving, which sucks because I wanted to show y'all the freaking... Okay, let's just kill him, bro. And he didn't even block. All right, yeah. <laughs> So that was a pretty easy sweep, if I do say so myself. But hopefully in the next match, we get somebody that, you know, gives us a run for our money. All right, so we got the next match. Now, for this game, I decided to put on Shinra's legendary skin since I literally just got it before recording this video, which I think is kind of funny. And I'm pretty lucky for it. But we're against Asta here, so this could be pretty scary. But we got him against the wall, so free wall combo right here. No counter play. He's going to evasive. I can use my one. Yep, as you guys can see just a really good strategy yeah so that's what i'm talking about using your like one when somebody evasives there's not really much they can do because you can still actually like target them while they're invisible i don't really know why it works that way but it does so it just works really well and you can use it as kind of um a way to punish evasives 
If he tries to attack me, he can't. And I think he knew that. But right now, we're in a really good spot. That was a pretty obvious ground slam. And now he shouldn't have his evasive. So this is just death three into one. Oh, he was already dead. Oh, okay. But yeah, using the one as like an evasion punisher, I think is also a really good strat. If you don't just want to keep spamming the, the freaking bread and butter combo, but I'm going to rush this dude. If he tries to punish me into the four here, cause we have super armor. So yeah, nothing he can do about that. He was charging. So this is just free damage. We should be able to get our bread and butter here too into the one and yep 60 percent of your health gone like that and we can actually corner him so i think i'm just gonna do that i have no reason not to oh wait no, i don't have enough mode yet this dude's kind of just launching out random moves he can't punish me because yep i'm in super oh he broke it i mean i guess that is a way to punish it but now we should have corner so yeah see you in the afterlife buddy like that's what i'm talking about bro you can literally just one shot people without even having mode like it is it's insane honestly now this dude still has two stocks so if we can kill him on this stock right now then we'll actually be able to one i'm gonna use my one here yeah he definitely did not expect that <laughs> i'm gonna use my four as a get off me move so he's gonna brick that yep oh that's actually really bad of base oh wow bro he stopped m wanting me all right i'll just pop the four right now this might wall him too if he goes back far enough into the three what he can get bro i'm not gonna lie i thought the three had super armor but i guess not okay pretty low on health so i'm gonna try and play for my life here because like i said if we can kill him in this stock then he's dead because as soon as i awaken it's basically ggs this will knock him against the wall oh bro we didn't get the oh that sucks we didn't get the freaking wall knock no thank you no thank you i don't know what he's doing there i could just land my one now for free yeah because he couldn't block all right so here's the problem i've only got like 50 percent of my mode and because we haven't died yet we haven't been getting our mode that you gain from just dying so it's definitely slowing the process and honestly i don't yeah i think i'd rather just use a corner instead of awakening anyways all we need is one combo and then that leads him to have perfect health to just die to our um bread and butter combo yeah literally all we need is one combo if i could just land one comp are you kidding no freaking way okay this dude's kind of saucing us now bro and he baited out our evasion yo why is bro kind of cooking right now hold on oh that was yeah that's kind of just free he messed up right there bop there we go he's got 50 percent health bop into the four yeah he's dead here all i need to do now i'm gonna just run away charge up little does he know him letting me charge is his defeat and yeah gg's my guy that right there is pretty much why shinra is low-key kind of broken like you can low-key just get two free one shots even without awakening so on to the next match all right so this is going to be the last match now hopefully in this match i can actually get the awakening because so far bro i forgot that guard breaks i literally just did a video on this dude and i completely forgot that guard breaks but now he's gonna lose 60 percent of his health so it doesn't really matter into the one here and yep thank you for the damage we literally just equaled how much damage he did to us by just m wanting him once that's not gonna hit us i can down slam here if he evasives no he didn't evasive i thought he was going to i wanted to use my four we have a pretty easy oh, oh we canceled i didn't think we'd cancel that okay is he gonna evasive this or no i think he dies oh he lived i'm gonna see if i can go for down slam how did we not hit him into the three and thank you yeah so like i was saying i'm gonna see if i can actually get the awakening and try and one shot this dude since literally in all the fights so far i just <laughs> have not been able to get the awakening i don't know because i actually really do like corona like i think it's basically it kind of does the same thing that your awakening does because after you land your bread and butter combo you can basically just one shot the person anyways but like i said in this one i am going to try and actually awaken that guard breaks we can get a ground slam thank you very much i'm gonna go for the one oh no yeah we're dead here yeah that dude decided to um attack right after actually evading and usually the one tech only actually works if the person like is pretty passive after they evade so the sense that dude decided to actually attack it didn't really work out yeah we would have been better just doing our four there actually i don't know why this dude bruh I was just about to say, I don't know why he keeps doing that, because I can just start a free combo. Are you kidding me? All right, all we got to do is land our M1s into our four, and yeah, I'm pretty... Oh, well, he can't punish me here anyways. Yeah, it doesn't have enough end lag to actually punish. Well, bro, I wanted the ground pound, and it gave me the M2. Actually, I might just try and go for a wall, a raw one. That would probably kill, wouldn't it? There we go. Yeah, he's been blocking a lot when I approach, so a, a freaking M2 would catch him off guard. Now, this dude still has one stock left before he's on his last one, so I'm going to try and kill him. And then after I do that, I can basically awaken, and it's just GG. There's not much he can do about it. Not to mention, this is a small map, which is good. You mainly want small maps on Shinra. What? Bruh. You mainly want small maps on Shinra because then people 
have a less chance of being able to run away because like i said you deal damage based on how much mode bar you actually have at the time so running away is actually people's best bet i'm gonna evasive that that way i can get the punish here thank you okay that's actually really bad i thought he would just die right there i'm gonna just man. Yeah, so we hit him with the raw fire kick, and now he basically loses. I'm gonna just wait, see where he spawns, and yeah, GG's, my guy. All right, so he's trying to do everything he can. Little does he know, there is no escape from this. Bop, bop, bop. Throw him over there, and break your spleen. And so, yeah, that's basically what Shinra does. But yeah, that is, in fact, going to be the last match. And I mean, you guys can pretty much see it, bro. Shinra is pretty brain dead. <laughs> The fact that you literally just need one M1 and then they the opponent is basically just forced to lose 60% of their health is just insane. I think they definitely do need to nerf that because like I said, like there's literally no way to avoid it since your evasion bar does not actually build up fast enough to evade that. So literally one M1 and boom, 60% of your health just gone. <laughs> So yeah, that is definitely really strong. And then besides that, his awakening and then also having Korna is just really freaking good. Me personally, I would choose Korna over the awakening since if you use it correctly, then you basically have two one shots instead of just one. But in some scenarios, having the awakening one shot will come into play. Not to mention, if you're actually going against somebody who's good, then most of the time you will be able to use one Korna and then build up your awakening. So you will, you know, still be able to actually awaken. It's just that the season reset recently so as you guys can see i am pretty low rank but i mean that doesn't stop it from just showing how sh like freaking crack shinra just is <laughs> so yeah shinra is a really insane character he definitely is gonna need some tuning up but with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys had a great rest of your day and let me know down in the comments who else you guys think i should cover something else i want to say is just thank you guys for the insane support recently you guys are absolutely amazing and yeah so yeah, thank you guys again, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.